Now to our other big story, the PG&E power shutoffs forced by some potentially dangerous winds. Now PG&E is in the process of cutting off power to 940,000 customers. Take a look at this map. Every dot that you see right there is a community right now without power. So we are working with about 900 thousand customers now this is where it really had sold for every customer it equals about three people so we are actually talking about millions of people spread across 38 counties right here in northern california making it a historic blackout but pg and a is saying hey this has to happen typically in this industry the way that would be handled would be we would sit back Debris would hit these lines. There would be localized outages. We would repair them. But we're in anything but a typical situation. PG&E started cutting power in the Sierra foothills around 5 o'clock last night, matey. That's right. And keep in mind, PG&E has already admitted that one of their towers may have caused the Kincaid fire we've been talking about in Sonoma County. These right here are aerials of transmission towers around the fire's point of origin. So take a look at this. Here is a time lapse video that shows mm. the moment the power goes out by that tower. Then shortly after, look at that a larger yeah. glow, which could be the start of the Kincaid fire. 